Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to take a look at this video here. Uh, member of, members of parliament, there is a member here who was talking about uh, Transnet, SAA and everything. So let's take a listen. He is actually mentioning some very important uh, things about privatization. Okay, We all know that in parliament, there are those who want it to be privatized, these uh, entities, and there are those who don't want that. Okay. Let's get into it so that we can hear what is actually there was some drama there that happened. Let's go into it. I'd like to echo um, some of the sentiments shared by some of my colleagues here. In that, when we speak about, um, we've got very fancy words for privatization. And uh, at the end of the day, it's all privatization. And uh, again, we will not support that. Because what you see happening here is. Uh, I've said this in the, in the Portfolio Committee of Transport as well, that the standard technique for privatization is to defund, make sure that things don't work, and then people get angry and you hand it over to private capital. And that's exactly what's happening with our entities. And I think the, the, the department needs to know that we understand this, that that's a standard, that's how you privatize. And from where we stand, we do not want to privatize strategic... Uh, national assets. So we, 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 we need to know and we need to have people's heads roll, people who have been doing this deliberately. Unfortunately, some of them are no longer with us, people who knew exactly what they were doing, and I think everyone here knows who I'm talking about. But when you, this is treasonous, when you, when you take state entities and you make sure that they don't work, and especially with entities like Transnet, you cannot have a transit that's not working because transit is the backbone of the country. It's the backbone of our trans uh, transport infrastructure. It's the so this guy is talking about privatization. One of the things that he says is very important to say that is how these entities are privatized. In other words, they make the entities to be like uh, they are suffering, they defund them. That means there is no funds that are coming in and everything like that. So that the, the entities are in a position where every person might agree or may agree, you know, to say, yes, we can privatize. Why? Because it is suffering. Just like the SAA. It was sold by, it was sold with 50 something rents, you know, which was the aim actually to end up privatizing them. Okay. Backbone of Everything, everything that comes into the country has to go through our ports, which is Transnet. Everything that leaves the country that would actually increase into our GDP has to go through our railroads and transport. So the minute we start to defund, for instance, um, Prasa, we've got derailments all over the country because uh, Prasa has been deliberately sabotaged. Transnet is very important, guys. Transnet, Transnet is very important. Transport, it's very important because in, the, in South Africa, the majority of people in South Africa are using transport. Majority of them are using transport, going up and down, work and everything like that, you know. And it is, the, it is a very, very important entity, you know. Because if we lose this thing of tra Transnet, I don't know, guys. And I, if you guys don't understand, if these things are, pri are privatized, some of them are going to be expensive. Hmm? Trains going to be expensive. Um, what else? Uh, trains, buses, and everything. They're going to be expensive because they are, they are privatized. Okay? And people, they don't understand this thing. These guys who are fighting this thing, they are fighting this thing because they know that when something is privatized, what is, is going to happen? Hmm? It's going to be very uh, expensive. Because now all the... the, and it, the, the this thing of people thinking that it is good to privatize everything. Guys, we cannot have a country where everything is privatized. No, guys, we can't have that. Somewhere, somehow, we must have at least something that is under, uh, you know... Uh, state at least at least one or two we cannot privatize everything all right saa is it's, it's already gone i believe all right so now we are left with, with these ones and they also want to take them away why i, I just don't know anyway I... and we know that it's deliber deliberately sabotaged 
we, we, if you ask that who has been managing um, the downfall of these entities and where are they now, they're still enjoying fat, cushy jobs wherever they sit. You've got people at Transnet who are sitting here, Minister, that are, and uh, let me make an example for you. You've got, um, and I'll, 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 I'll name names here. You've got a, a company called Liquid and Data Centrics at Transnet. Liquid and Data Centrics run parallel and they do the same thing. The one of them, the contract ended four years ago, but they're still getting paid today. You've got no. managers there at Transnet <laughs> telling you that no, we are That's managing the, the we are managing the handover from Liquid, I think, to Data Centrics, and I stand to be corrected on who's handing over to who here. But you, uh, four years later they're still telling you that, no, they're handing over. And this is the cost of millions. And I believe that this year alone, they've been paid over 74 million, almost 100 million rand that, they, that they've been paid uh, to date. And Chairperson, both of these companies are running concurrently at Transnet. And then people are going to tell you that, no, we've got the most competent people working for Transnet. They're incompetent. They're incompetent. Because now, I think, Chair, and through you, we need to get to a position or get to a point where we actually ask for the, 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 the qualifications of these people who work at Transnet. Because I believe that those people are incompetent. We have not even brought in our B team. This is like the C team or the D team that's running Transnet. And now I think it's irresponsible for us as, an, uh, as a portfolio committee, especially Scopa, and this is for Scopa and uh, Transport, to not vet the people who are running these entities to make sure that we've got the best people running these entities. We've got, we've got declines in volumes at Prasa, extreme declines, yet you hear um, uh, the department saying we must uh, privatize. The department is saying we must privatize the department. What is going on? So they are failing to do it, they are failing to bring it back, they are failing to make it work. That means all of us as South Africa, there are no people who can come together, who can come to, to this thing and just rescue it. There is no one, there is no one. So the only option is privatization. Hmm? No one, no person can, you see, he mentions the, the, the fact that there are people that they need to check. The people that are working there, they need to be checked. Okay, to whether they, they, because they are incompetent. I believe that it's not like they are incompetent. I believe they are deliberately being incompetent, incompetent so that all we look at this thing, we think it is not working. They know it can work. They know they can bring it back. I can tell you guys, they know they can bring it back. Hmm? But there is, there is, I don't know, somebody has made this thing to be so bad that even okay let's just assume that the people who work there right maybe they don't have any idea on what is going on maybe in the background because i believe that some and somehow in the background somebody is pulling the strings you know and to make sure that they actually even though there are sincere people people who want to see this thing work okay but there are people who are busy trying to make this thing to not work that is why they suggest the, private, the, the privatization. And you will hear there are people who are happy. You will hear somebody speaking in the background saying, yeah, that's why you should, we need to privatize. Let's hear. You will hear him. Um, what do they call this thing that they want to do at uh, Transnet? We don't it's, know. Um, what is this? And describe, describe it. Maybe <laughs> they... <laughs> when, uh, it's vertical, vertical, vertical. Vertical uh, integration. Vert vertical integration. Yeah. That's not going to work. Yeah. They know that's not going to work. Listen, listen, listen. They know it's not going to work because now you're, you're saying vertical integration, but then uh, the other day we sat with uh, um, the CEO of Transnet and he said, we do not earn money if we do not move volumes. If they do not move volumes, but they want to take those volumes and give them to private sector, what do they mean? You are not moving volumes, but you want to take the same entity and give it over to we want to take the same work and give it over to private capital. How are you, how are you planning on making this entity uh, viable? How are you planning on making this entity survive? Yes, sir. 
the 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 current loss position of transit of seven billion rand, it's not acceptable. Five years ago, five, six years ago, 2017, 2018, that entity made a profit of five billion rand. Profit, five billion rand. Mm. Five, six years later, that same entity, the very same entity, is working on a seven, it's actually, um, um, it's not even seven, it's actually more. More than seven billion rand loss. Listen. How is that even possible? I, 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 I don't get it. Um, I beg your pardon? Yeah. That's why you need to privatize. That's why you need to privatize. No, no, no. It's not in direct. Uh, can, 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 uh, can we please, can we please, can we please let the... Take you on on that one. Chair, on your point of order, Chair. Let me take you on on that members. one. On your point of order, Chair. Take you on on that one, because I think we must agree that we we stay on your point of order, Chair. Honourable, Honourable, I want to deal with Honourable Atkins. That's why we need to privatize. That's why we need to privatize. What? South Africa. So now, because the, this guy is talking about privatization, blah, blah, blah. And if, for, for me, guys, it seems like, actually, when they responded in that way, when they, they were like, yeah, that's why we need to privatize, it proves the point of the guy of saying, these entities, they are made to look like they are not working, deliberately so, so that they can be able to say what they said. That's why we need to, to privatize. That is the aim. It's actually proving his point of saying there are people who are trying to make this thing to be privatized. And they have proved his point by saying, yeah, we, 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 that's why they need to be privatized. They are looking for a reason for them to be privatized. That's why the, the department is actually suggesting the privatization. You know? I really don't know, guys. And unfortunately, according to me, unfortunately, People who are pushing back when it comes to privatization, that means not privatization, but people who don't want this, these entities to be privatized are very few. They are, they are a minority, you know? Other people who are living comfortably, who are feeling nice in their, in their lives, they've got money, they are okay, they can buy whatever, they are nice in their, co in their cozy lives, right? They are pushing back against um, the people who are saying we must not privatize, right? They are a majority, those people. A minority, they are busy pushing it back and say, we don't want privatization. And unfortunately, those who are a minority who are pushing back are very few. And it seems like these guys who want to privatize, they will win the way things are going. I think they will win, to be honest with you. The SAA, they won. And I think also in some of these entities, they will win. Because when you read and when they talk to the department, they make it as if like it's not working. For me, the question is one. Do you think that this whole South Africa, there's no person who can fix this thing? Eh, no one. Hmm? To avoid this thing of privatization. Anyway, let me not talk too much, guys. Please tell me what, what, what do you think in the comments. And whether you want it to be, you want these entities to be privatized? And if yes, please tell me why do you think so? And also if not, please tell me why do you think we shouldn't be privatizing these things? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please like, share, subscribe, and do the do's. You have a good day. Sharp, sharp.